Before Aliaga was founded as a town, she was a vast forest. Few people inhabited the area, and it became a dump site of human skeletons. So it was named Pulong Bibit. Pulong meaning an island or a place, and Bibit meaning ghost. Aliaga used to be a part of Pampanga, which is vast land extending from Cagayan to Manila. In 1848, Gapan, San Antonio, Cabiao, and Aliaga were segregated and made part of Nueva Ecija. It was on the 8th of February, 1849, that Aliaga was formally erected as a town. The first gobernadorcillo was Aniceto Ferry, who changed Pulong Bibit to Aliaga, named after his hometown in Teruel, Spain. According to the old books of the church, the parish was established in 1849 under the control of the Augustinian missionaries. Father Valentin Garcino Payad became the first priest of the parish. The town of Aliaga was placed under the guidance of Blessed Virgin Mary, named as Nuestra Señora de las Saleras. The name de las Saleras was associated with the Blessed Virgin Mary because of the miraculous event. The Spaniards in search of new colonies in the Pacific usually affix a holy image in their shipping vessels. The image of the Blessed Virgin or the Santo Niño were commonly placed to serve as a guide and a patron and also to introduce the Roman Catholic Church in one of their voyages, the ship carrying the image of the Blessed Virgin Mary met a fiery storm and the ship slowly sank into the water. The crew prayed to the Blessed Virgin Mary to save them and miraculously, the ship floated back to the surface. When the weather was clear, they noticed that the edge of the Blessed Virgin's gown was filled with salt water which eventually dried up, became salt, and so she came to be known as Nuestra Señora de las Saleras. Aliaga is also known as a town of which is frequently is flooded. This may be the reason why the Augustinian priests place Aliaga under the protection of Nuestra Señora de las Saleras. Aliaga's first years were described to be progressive and active. She was known then as Mainilang Munti. Likab, Quezon, and Zaragoza were only barrios of Aliaga before. The first of parish church was made of light materials. After a few years, church made of Tisa was constructed to house of the Virgin's image. The church also bought a land called Lupang Mitra to allot resources for the church future growth. At the end of 19th century, several historical events affected the whole nation and the church. Revolts against the government of Spain created distraught even among the peace-loving people of the town. Augustinian priests were placed with secular priests the first priest was Father Benito Sebrero. The church made of tiles was burned by suspected members of the Himagsikan. Several sects such as the Catolica Independiente Nacional, Iglesia Ni Cristo, and the Protestante were founded. In spite of the challenges, the Roman Catholic faith pursued its efforts to spread the teachings of the Lord Jesus Christ. So in 1926, the Apostolado ng Panalangin and Ihas de Maria were enacted. One unforgettable calamity was the Great Flood in 1936, which submerged almost 100% of the town. It was said that the raging waters which could have killed hundreds was restrained by a lady described as having a long hair and believed to be the miraculous Nuestra Señora de las Saleras. 
Also in the 1960s, the head of the Virgin Mary and the child Jesus was stolen. On February 16, 1963, Cabanatuan Nueva Ecija was established as a diocese. It was also during this time when the Vatican Council II decreed that the Holy Mass will, its prayers and songs be translated to Filipino language from the usual Latin. On September 7, 2013, in the celebration of the Golden Jubilee of the Diocese of Cabanatuan, the parish was declared as a diocese and shrine of Nuestra Señora de las Saleres. At present, the Catholic Church is journeying towards program as a people of God through the guidance of our beloved Nuestra Señora de las Saleres.